the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people are seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet my blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot black spot dot com and my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located people dot etsy dot com and i went to do my bangs trimmed them up and everything and i forgot when your hair is straight you can't really cut it too short <laughs> So water hit it and I got a poodle puff here and then I'm getting attacked by the frizz monster on the rest of it, but it's okay. I'm used to this. <laughs> I could always, you know, flat iron it or blow dry it or whatever, but the bangs, you know, Look back a few videos. I can't stand it when they're in my face. So I'm good with this. You know, it might be fluffy or whatever, but hey. In the meantime, <laughs> my teeth are now glued in because this dentist cut off part of the, <clears throat> you know, when he did the repair, that's fine. Then he decided to trim up some of the denture so forth, so, and told me to hold my teeth in with my tongue because it needs to be strengthened anyway. Really? That worked. I can't hold my teeth in without the adhesive until I go to eat something. Then they pop out. Or, as was evident today, I want to say something to my new pastor. Um, one of the people from Bayside Baptist said, what's your um, distraction, basically? Uh, where you get stuck at in life. And every week when Pastor Lohorn is speaking, this train goes by. So I went, train. <laughs> so I went to share that with him. And my team decided to go, train. <laughs> They're in there real good this time. <laughs> Thought I'd share that funny. In the meantime, I was gathering stuff from upstairs to bring down here because instead of carting the stuff all the way back up to the soap lab, there's a carrying section over here in the living room. And I got my heat gun. I got my cards and labels. Got my shrink wrap. I'm ready to package up the lavender helix. So while I'm gathering all that stuff up and the three bars of a nacho that's leaving here, I bump into something that happens. You know, I use a cane to get around and sometimes I'm balancing stuff. And I heard this noise and I'm going, what on earth? <laughs> and when I figured out what it was, I let it play again because it was this. Hey, cute. Oh, wait a minute. It's snagging me. He's a little bear. Well, not bear, a bunny. That does this. <laughs> And his little ears wiggle and such. I'm like, that is so cute. Where'd it come from? <laughs> well, it's in my room on my memory table, which means it's mine. I just have to remember where did I get it? When I get it? Who gave it to me? <laughs> and knowing me, I wrote that down somewhere. I just don't know where. But that just cracked me up. It was like I'm working on stuff and I hear that. It's like, wait a minute. Because the TV was playing something totally different. <laughs> I think it was on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood or something. Because I remember saying, huh, I'm on PBS. When did that happen? Because... I generally watch Dr. Martin at a certain time, but it's hours before that show comes on. And I'm figuring, 
okay, I need to get the lavender helix packaged up. I need to do this. I need to do that because the plantains and almond milk soap also has to be packaged up. I'm going to show this one to you. Hold on. The rounds are like this now. Mm. But the bar soaps are not going to fit in that format. And I generally do the round soaps in a round format with the coffee filters because people use those as face soaps. I've had people tell me that they don't even bother to take the wrapper off of the rounds. They just go ahead and use it with the coffee filter one because it's an automatic washcloth. Whatever makes your boat float. I mean, it does have a certain texture that will feel good on your skin. But it seems to me like that would just not last long that way, you know, because you're using a paper coffee filter that's not made to be cloth. But, hey, people keep requesting that. I mean, one time I sent it with the shrink wrap and everything. And it's like, what, no coffee filter? So if people like that, I will package the way they like. But in the meantime, you know, you have a certain way of doing things. And I'm packaging stuff up today because I'm going to go to my soap lab and create some wonderful soaps. But in the meantime, like with the Anajo, it's in a big old box, literally right on top of this, you know, the main uh, table. And there's a couple of things that's right in the path because... I was rearranging up there and <laughs> the memory table has been taking some of the overflow along with the, you know, little curing station I have down here because I've been making soaps and I've been selling soaps and I'm trying to get everything moving to a more streamlined format. And my little soaping lab is kind of a small space. I'll expand it however way I need to a little bit later because there's a couple of things that have to take place before I go back to my old format, like the walls on the inside of the cabinet needs to be painted. I mean, everything in there is a dark brown, and sometimes when you open the door with the light, you can't see stuff. You have to use a flashlight in there. That's fine for curing, but when you need to take out a product or whatever, now you got to struggle. So I figured if I go ahead and paint it, you know, it needs paint anyway. I mean, the last time it had paint was probably when the house was built. Because, I mean, at some point in time, part of the wallpaper that's on there literally peeled off. And every now and then you sweep up this stuff and go, what is this? And you realize, oh, that's the wallpaper that was on the wall. Oh, well, if I paint it, I don't have to worry about it. Because, you know, in order to paint, you have to clean off all the latest layers of the paper and the debris and all that. Refresh. Put a couple of shelves in there. Start over. Anyway, when I went to get the <laughs> cars and the supplies that I had on the memory table off of there, that's when the bunny started singing to me. So I thought I'd share that. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned.